we hope affected persons get respite soon. Do you have a flooding story you would like to share with us? Tweet to us at Just Nigeria TV. would like to hear from you. Uh, still on the environment. Let's tell you about how a Nigerian researcher has provided a local solution to a major oil exploration problem. Uh, Tony Odutola uh, was a research student when the need to develop a custom-made machine that could study how gas and other impurities could cause oil spillage in Nigeria arose. She took it upon herself to develop a machine, and today she's credited with building Nigeria's first hydrate loop. She shared her innovation with Just Nigeria's Shin Wido. I felt very good when it started working, and my results were comparable to published um, data from the Western world. Okay, the Institute of Petroleum Studies, IPS, had some industry collaboration then, and um, one of it was the um, hydrate um, research and the institute was going to purchase, a company was going to purchase a hydrate equipment for the institute. And someone there wrote to us and said we should stop disturbing that that equipment was, was produced by a PhD. And, and that's the best the equipment could do at that time. So my supervisor was challenged. He said, Tony, if somebody abroad can build an equipment and use it for his PhD, then you will not graduate until you build your own equipment and use it for your PhD. I had to change a couple of things while the research was on until I was very certain that I could form hydrate and I could test hydrate inhibitors, that is chemicals that prevent hydrate formation. The, under the sea or the ocean floor is usually very cold. So when we have the crude oil coming out from the oil well in, with a very hot temperature and then it gets to the pipeline which is laid under the sea. It's exposed to a very cold temperature. So hydrate starts forming around the walls of the pipe, in, the internal walls of the pipe. And when it's not managed, the hydrate keeps accumulating and eventually it can form a plug and it clogs the line. I felt very good when we opened the valve and we saw hydrates. I felt very good when I could test inhibitors. We have students coming from all over Nigeria coming to use this equipment. We've also had students coming in from Ghana to use this equipment. And recently we had a student writing us from Europe to use this same equipment. There are a lot of people doing a lot of things on hydrates now because this equipment is here. Talk of innovative thinking. Well done to you. Still to come here on GIST Nigeria from the BBC and Channels Television. Uganda passes law encouraging human organ donation and transplants we bring you this story after the break. Stay with us.